Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and welcome to another episode of Watch and Learn. Today, we're going to be talking about hacking. Uh, what is hacking? You see hacking in our listings and descriptions. You hear it on the internet. People are talking about it. Well, maybe not in you know social circles, but in watch circles, you know, definitely uh, does this watch hack. Usually, hacking and hand winding is in the same sentence, but they are mutually exclusive, as I said in the past. Hacking quite simply means that when you pull the crown out to set the time the seconds hand stops moving. On a quartz watch, this is trivial because when you pull the crown out, uh, I think on every quartz watch I've ever seen, it disconnects the battery from the circuit, so naturally it stops. Uh, with an automatic or a mechanical watch, when you pull the crown out, you're really not doing anything. You're moving a bunch of levers and cams around, and you're letting the, the watch set the time, but that doesn't mean that the seconds hand stops. Most notably, uh, your Seikos from the 90s and today, uh, with the 7S26 movement in them, uh, does not hand wind and it does not hack. Again, mutually exclusive doesn't make a difference, but I always put them in the same sentence. Uh, so hacking quite simply means second stop or stop seconds. I, I looked a little bit into where the word comes from and the little piece inside the movement that stops the balance, at least I'm going to show you in Edit 2824 uh, how it works. Uh, that little piece is called a balance stop lever or I guess some call it a hacking lever. I don't know who coined the term hacking lever, so when you say it's a watch hack, it just means it's a second hand stop. Anyway, like I said, I have a, uh, a junked out Edit 2824 that has some issues. The date doesn't work. Um, it has some... Uh, other mainspring issues that, that you'll see. But anyway, it, it, the hacking lever is intact and it works and it's really cool and it's really simple. Uh, my own wrist check, I'm wearing uh, my dad's 80s date just two-tone and I think that the Seagull mechanical chrono, for some reason, it complements it very well as far as uh, a color scheme. Uh, I really dig it. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's get over to the table and check out uh, not what hacking means, but in this case now, how hacking works. Okay, so in front of you here, I've got an Edit 2824 in a movement holder. Um, it's got some date issues or something, but for what we're going to use it for, it, it works just fine. I have one of the multi-tip screwdrivers that we sell and also a, a tweezer. Uh, from the toolkit that we sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in uh, down on the movement and then I'm going to try to uh, take it apart uh, while still filming and talking on the camera. Uh, it should be interesting. Okay, so now we're zoomed in on the movement and to get to the part we're going to talk about, um, I got to remove this auto winding bridge uh, assembly, which is this piece of metal here, the rotor which spins around, uh, and, and the gearing underneath it that winds the mainspring. And to do that, I just have to remove uh, these two black screws. I'm going to try my best to catch it on camera uh, and uh, take it off. So uh, here we go. Here goes one screw. And here comes the other screw. Sorry if my hands get in the way. So we're going to take those two screws out. And now we can remove the auto winding bridge. And there it is. I'll flip it over. The screws will pop out. Or maybe ah, they'll stay. And you can see what it looks like underneath. Uh, just a bunch of gears attached to that center pivot so that when the rotor spins, uh, it spins all the gears, does a lot of gear reduction, and uh, winds the mainspring. So now that's out of the way. Now we have, you know, more of your, what you know, when you look at a, a manual wind watch, this is really what you see because the rotor is in the way on an automatic. So definitely maybe more uh, mechanically interesting. Uh, you can see the center wheel here. That's basically the seconds hand. Uh, and then, you know, winding, mainspring, mainspring barrel, balance, regulator. Yeah, you have all the stuff, all the stuff here that um, makes the watch, oh, well, literally tick. To get where we want to go, I need to remove this part. Uh, so what I'm going to do is Probably in editing, I might fast forward this part a bit because it takes a little more than just two screws. Uh, and then when I get close to the end, uh, I'll, I'll start talking again. Okay, so I've taken the other piece off that I had to. It's right here. Now the movement is a little more exposed than it was before. Uh, and so what you got to look at is this piece right here. Now I have to be careful because there's nothing holding this piece on now. But this little L right here is what's known as the balance stop lever or the hacking lever. And I'm, I'm basically pulled in now as much as close as I can get without losing focus. 
So again, right here, it's pivoting about this point here. And what happens when you pull the crown in and out is the stem moves and this part of the lever actually smacks into the balance wheel, creating a friction stop. Now, if I do it too many times, you might actually, this lever will actually pop off. Uh, it already happened once while I was filming, so this is my second time. So I'm going to warn you this time in case it pops off. You can't be like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Or maybe I don't know what I'm doing. So something I realized when taking it apart is that the click on the watch is broken on the, on the mainspring. So I'm actually winding it with the screwdriver. You see me spinning it? I'm winding the mainspring. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep my hand on there so we can watch what happens. So watch this little lever. When I pull out the crown, one click, two click. See the lever smacked into the balance wheel. I'm talking, let's see if I can get a tweezer in here. I could use a third or a fourth hand right here. It's hitting the balance, and that causes it to stop. It's a hard friction stop. You push this back out, and it starts up again. Now, this lever, like I said, could fall off at any minute because it's just kind of hanging on the pivot. There's nothing holding it. But that's your hacking lever. That's your balance stop lever in action. You could see it working. Pretty cool, ingenious, simple. Uh, that's your... That's your hacking and balance stop, and that's how it works. Anyway, uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com with Watch and Learn, showing you how the hacking lever or the balance stop lever on an automatic movement works. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so yet. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.